Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Moth House, where I'm going to be collecting moths. If you want to collect some moths, the links and the details are down below in the description for you, alright? I hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video by the end, but let's enter Moth House. What's this then? Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to inform you that I'm leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request for you. In the attached letter, there's a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch them. Then get those moths out of the house. Set them free. With all my love, your dad. Thanks, dad. I'm sure reading something like that and just the concept of this game is making some of you squirm. I'm not really one of those people. I'm okay with butterflies and moths. But still, can I... <laughs> I can't leave. I don't need to go back. <sighs> That's a shame. Right, well, uh, let's go forward then, shall we? With this piddly little match. Hopefully I've brought more than one, because it's already going out quite quick. Ooh. That was a rat, not a moth. <laughs> control to sneak. Not control to crouch. Sneak. That implies some sort of stealth component. Are we going to be sneaking around the moths? Do I need to sneak around you guys? <laughs> so, how do I... How do I grab you? I mean, you are moths, right? Hmm. Alright, hang on, let's see. Okay. Thankfully, I have got a few more matches. Oh. Oh, there we go. I've got a net. Right. I've got a net. And I've got a net. <laughs> I've got a net and a few matches. Right. So, let's see. Can I capture you? Okay. Tab to open backpack. Oh, right. Oh, wow, look at that. So, I think the ones that I've caught are on the left. Uh, we've got 25 different species of moths here, by the looks of it. Wow, some very fancy looking ones too. So it looks like I caught a great deal of the American dagger moths there. Alright. Yeah, that's right. And the leopard moth too. Cool. I don't know if I need to capture every single one of these, but you know, one or two of each species at least would be good. Man, these matches are going down fast. Hopefully I brought some extra boxes with me. Oh wow. Oh wow, look at you! What was that? That was the Cecropia moth, by the looks of it. That one in the top left. Man. Alright. So many on the wall as well. Alright. Over here too. I don't know which species I have or haven't got, so yeah, I'm just taking a swing. Okay, we are growing our collection. Yeah, those ones at the bottom, though, they look very, very fancy. The Comet Moth? Hercules Moth, that's going to be a big one. Right, let's see. Alright. Seems like a big house, too. <laughs> and my dad was quite the fan. What's this? Okay. Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz, with the average value of about 30 to 60 kilohertz. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbals. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Ah, well there you go. We're learning everyone, we're learning. And we're also running out of matches. Right, this way? Okay. Oh, it's locked. Okay. The closer I get to the door, the higher the reading is as well. Something's something's going on back there. I guess there's going to be a, uh, a heightened moth population beyond that door. We need to find a key. What about this way? Alright. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing them fluttering around. <laughs> Hang on. Right, so this is a Ken Forest game, and in all the games that I've played from Ken Forest, you see this goose in some way, shape, or form. 
Uh, I think the first game that I played was probably Toilet Room is where I saw the goose, but yeah, I think he's been in every single one. Let's see, how are we doing? Not too shabby, not too shabby. Still haven't really tackled the bottom half yet, though. But yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that jar's looking very full. Right. Now, why is that barricaded? Let's go this way, shall we? All right. Oh, there's moths in here as well. Ooh, they look fancy. That's a species that I don't think I've caught before. Would that be the comet moth? No, no, I don't think so. No, that's the Creatonotos Gangus moth. Got ten of them now. I think that'll do me. Any in the toilet? No, good. Right, just get me out of this place. I know I said I was okay, but yeah, this is this is making me squirm a little bit. Alright, another door that needs a key. Alright. Moths at the dining room table. Alright. Something over here? Oh. A crowbar, I think. Wait, cook? No recipes. We're, we're, we're cooking? We need a recipe, though. Okay, alright. I guess I'll come back. What are we cooking, the moths? <laughs> I hope not. They probably wouldn't take too kindly to that. Alright. Let's see. Under here? Alright. Wow. There's so many of them. This way? Right, let's see. Getting quite a high reading around here. I suppose it'll go down the more I more I catch, but then maybe it should go up the more I catch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That's a rather large one. I'm not familiar with that species. Holy crap. Am I dead? There's meant to be multiple endings in this game, I guess. I guess dying's one of them. Holy shit. Whoa. Thankfully, I broke myself free from a cocoon. I don't know if that guy is so lucky. So many moths here, though. Wow. What sort of reading am I getting? Yeah, quite a high one. Okay. Jeez Louise. Right, I, I, I shouldn't be capturing moths. I should be getting out of here, right? I should be getting out of here. This way? Okay. Wait, is that where I picked up the device? That was the locked door. Right. Just out of interest, uh, can I leave? Because I think I've seen enough. I haven't captured all of the species, obviously. But, you know, I, I got a good handful, a good jarful. Bloody hell. Yeah, let's see if we can get out of here. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm gonna see sense. <laughs> There's the door. There it is. Oh, I can! I can leave! Hey, there you go! Right, I did the sensible thing. What's that? The jar? Right, okay. Well, I didn't set them all free, but I set most of them free. What I probably should have been doing is opening all the windows inside. Yeah. Okay. And I guess that's one of the endings to Moth House. That's the sensible ending. That's the get the fuck out of Dodge ending when you see one that's way too big. However, I am going to go back and I am going to see if I can complete the collection. So bear with me. Alright. How's my collection doing? It's growing. It's certainly growing, but yet yeah, we've still got a lot more collecting to be done through there. So again, let's pick up the crowbar. Let's get the boards off. Let's go through, and hopefully this time we're not going to get captured by that gargantuan creature. Okay. Oh! Oh, man. Look at you! What species are you? <laughs> I don't see you on the list. I think there's 26 species in here, to be honest. Wow, okay, right. So, you can hide from it. Crouching is sneaking. There is stealth. We're running away from that one. 
Okay. Let's see then. Alright. I think I got the vast majority. Let's see, it went this way. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. That really doesn't sound good. Right, I I'm going to hide in the dark here because I figure then, you know, it probably won't be attracted to my light. Uh, what's the reading? I can barely see it. It it is fluctuating massively though. It's getting re it's getting really high. Oh dear. Maybe it gets higher the closer that thing is. Right now it doesn't seem so bad. Okay. Right. Let's let's get some of these guys. Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> Right, okay, yeah. All the uh, all the rare ones, the special ones, seem to be over here somewhere. Goodness gracious me. Right, I'm going to go this way then. Or am I? Yeah, this, this is making me squirm. What's this? Oh, a recipe! Right! Oh, hang on. Was there another way down to the basement? Look at all these. Oh, surely I'm picking up some new species here. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, this is a different basement. This is a big, big place, isn't it? Another recipe? All right. Over here? Wow. I'm just going along, just clicking on the walls as much as possible, hoping I just get a good collection so I can get the hell out of here, honestly. All right. How's it looking? Okay, alright. There's still um, seven or eight species that I haven't captured yet. Jeez. Right, okay. Do I need to capture that one as well? I don't think <laughs> I don't think I can do it with that net. That's the only issue. Okay. Round here? Okay, just a dead end, unfortunately. Right, and then this, I suppose, is going to take us back out. Yeah? Right. Let's keep on going, shall we? Let's keep on going. Not that way. Not that way. Right, I'm running back this way, and we're going to go this way. Yes, yes. What about you guys? Right, surely, surely there's going to be some new species up here. <sighs> What's this? Oh, it's not a recipe this time. Uh, the Creotonotos gangus moth is a species of moth found in Southeast Asia, Australia, and parts of Africa. Is it safe for me to read here? I don't know. It's known for its distinctive appearance with brightly colored hind wings that are covered in long, fluffy, hair-like structures called korimata. The korimata are used by male moths to release pheromones that attract females for mating. The moth is also notable for its ability to vary the size and shape of its korimata in response to environmental and social factors, which may play a role in mate selection and competition. Fascinating. Brilliant. Uh, okay, get me out of here. Get me the fuck out of here. Right. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I got three of the Emperor Gum Moth there. Um, yeah, there's still, I think, seven, eight? Eight different types of moth that we need to find, and they've got to be this way. I've also got to find, I guess, at least one key. Right. Let's see. All right. Oh, there's some big ones. Okay, through here. We've got an old bedroom by the looks of it, and there's something down there. Maybe I should take a look. Okay. Can I take a look in the dark? Well, I can. It's another recipe. Right, is it the same recipe, or is it a different one? How much cooking do we need to do? I wasn't expecting cooking to be a component of this game, honestly, but okay. If we're cooking moths, then, you know, I've, I've found quite a few ingredients. Oh boy. Maybe we need to cook that one. The big one. Alright. What we got? No moths in here? Really? I'm, I'm shocked. Uh, hi, Paul. It turns out the lingua moths have many abilities besides speaking human language. What? They're capable of something, so I have to report that I'm going to somewhere. I'm not sure I'll be back from there. Uh, but in the name of science, I have to check it out. Uh, I grow new types of moths in the basement. 
I hope that while I'm away, the house will not rot from a large number of different moths. Just in case, I'll block the entrance. If something happens, then I'll get my son to collect them, I guess. Right. Right. Okay. A little bit of backstory. But yeah, no moths in here. Right this way. Oh boy. There's another floor. Alright, looks like we're going upstairs. Ooh, we're only missing... We're only missing a couple. The rosy maple moth and the white witch moth. Right, okay. That's good. Something over here? Another recipe. Alright, I think that's three or four that I found now. Alright. That... That's the big one that I can hear, I think. Another recipe? Okay. So many moths! This is ridiculous! This butterfly net really isn't cutting it. This jar isn't cutting it. What we need is a fisherman's trawling net. Okay. Something over here in this library? Oh, it's a key! Ah! So is this a key to the basement, or is this a key for that other door? Not sure, to be honest. Not sure. Uh, I found all of them, but this rosy maple moth. Where are they hiding? Maybe I need to get captured by the big one. Maybe I need to get captured by the big one and I'll, I'll find them down there in that other basement. Right. I've gone through so many matches. Okay. I should probably be using this a bit more, to be honest. We're getting a fairly high reading, but it is going down. That means I think that big one's going away. Right. How are we doing, then? Ah! I found them all! Or at least, I've, I found at least one of each! Oh, boy! Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Oh, no! Ah! I, I had no idea where I was going. I'm, I'm captured. Presumably, I'm just going to go back down to the basement in that cocoon. Can I break free again? Okay. Okay, did I lose any moths? No, I didn't. Good, good. All right. Well, you know what? That was actually a handy little shortcut. Okay. So, back across here, and then to the right. I think it was this door at the very end that was locked, wasn't it? Okay. All right, enter the void. How's going on? Oh, I don't like this. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck this! All right, I'm out. Oh, bloody hell! But let's think about this. I've already done the smart thing, haven't I? I've already done the smart thing. Right now, I'm being a dumb horror protagonist. I'm sticking around. Oh God! Look at the size of that one. Tall? Oh, this is a, a lingua moth, is it? Hello, human. I'm the Moth King's helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human, unlike me. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from this house, and the Moth King is hungry. Ah, I see. He's already tired of eating little moths flying by past him. Once he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently and with normal food. He needs soup. Moth soup. There are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the Moth King. Right. Okay. I definitely shouldn't, but I'm going to. <laughs> I'm too curious at this point. Okay, so, right, I found a few recipes, didn't I? And it's the moths that we're going to be using, right. So, what sort of soup does he want? Oh, wow, look at that one. That's one of everything. Okay. Let's do it. Alright. Sorry, Dad. I know this wasn't really what you had in mind. In fact, you probably wanted me to save the moths from this giant one, but... Well, now I'm feeding him. Let's hope he enjoys it. There we are. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup. Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup, so it'll be better if you make soup from other ingredients. Well, I used one of every single moth that I found, aside from that big one. What does he like? 
Well, let's just let's focus on making him another one. Not that one. No. Um, right. This seems like uh, quite a lot of the common ones. So yeah. All right. How about this? <laughs> what am I doing in this game? <laughs> I didn't expect this. Thank you. But the king has not eaten for a long time, and two pots of soup is not enough for him. He wants to eat me as well, right? So make another batch of soup. I think he'll have enough. Right, okay. One more batch? Alright, well let's make it different again. Let's make it a different recipe. Wouldn't want to bore the king, would we? Um, yeah, why not? Alright. It seems like I've still got a few to spare. So we can feed the king, and we can get out of here with at least, you know, two of each. There we are. Thank you for feeding the Moth King. However, he says that your soups were terrible. He would have been better off starving. I don't want to do this, but I have to follow the King's orders. The Moth King says you killed moths for nothing, to make those awful soups. He wants to drive you to Moth Hell. Moth Hell is a terrible place for moths, but not only moths get there, but people too. For example, our owner got there. On this, we will have to part. I'm sorry, but there's no choice. So, goodbye. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, okay. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking staying around here. We've got- Oh! Am I being taken to moth hell right now? Is that a lamp I see in Motel? Okay, yeah, there's a couple of them. Oh, man. Ooh! I turned into one. There you go. There's another ending to Moth House. But I think there's meant to be three, so of course I'm gonna dive back into the game and I'm gonna see if I can get maybe a better ending than that. Let's see if we can get to Moth Heaven. Hello again. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Once again, it's nice to meet you, Your Majesty. I wonder if I might be able to feed you a little bit better this time. Oh, hello. There's your little helper. Let's see. What would the king like this time? Maybe one of these? Let's give him one of these. Yeah. Let's see if he enjoys this. I don't really know what his preferences are, but I don't want to get sent down to Moth Hell. Right, he didn't like that one. Yeah. We've got some fairly fancy moths in this one. Would he like this? Let's see. Moment of truth, I suppose. Thank you! But the king has not eaten for a long time, and two pots of soup is not enough for him. So make another batch of soup, and I think he'll have enough. Right, okay. Well, he didn't say that he didn't like that one. There we go. That's one of everything. I can't remember if he liked this one or not, to be honest. In fact, I don't think he did. That's not good. Okay. He really liked your soups! Fantastic! Okay, the rarer the moths, I think, the more he likes it. So, he has powers. I'm sure he does. <laughs> and we can finally leave this old house and find yourself another place where there's normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye! Goodbye. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, to be honest, I suppose that's going to let all the other moths out, isn't it? Yeah, all right. Two in one. There you go, the third and the final ending to Moth House. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, alright? I quite enjoyed that, that was pretty fun. It was creepy, claustrophobic, and at times, educational. As I said earlier, ticks all the boxes. Thanks for watching, see you next time. I'm okay with butterflies and moths. But still, can I- <laughs> I can't leave. There we go, I've got a net! Right, I've got a net. And I've got a net! The closer I get to the door, the higher the reading is as well. Something's... something's going on back there. Got ten of them now.
I think that'll do me. Any in the toilet? No, good. Right, just get me out of this place. Maybe it should go up the more I can. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I can leave! Hey, there you go! Right, I did the sensible thing. Oh, man. Look at you! What species are you? <laughs> do I need to capture that one as well? I don't think I don't think I can do it with that net. Fascinating. Brilliant. Ah, okay, get me out of here. It turns out the lingua moths have many abilities besides speaking human language. What? I found them all. Or at least I I found at least one of each. Oh boy. Oh, I don't like this. Whoa. Whoa! Fuck this. Please make soup and feed the moth king. Right. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, okay. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking staying around here. We've got- Oh! He really liked your soups! Fantastic! Okay, the rarer the moths, I think, the more he likes it. Oh, wow! 